gonna believe this, but Vadim Orlov is in Prague. You're kidding. I wish I were. Six months ago, he got an augmented expert's visa and has been coming and going periodically ever since. Border control logged him in this morning. I arrived in Prague six months ago. Where's he staying? In the Lilioma Courtyard Apartments on Lavani Street, second floor. I'll check it out. Together. We'll chase up Orlov after we're done snooping around Miller's apartment. His apartment is, surprise surprise, in the same building as all the other apartments we've ever had to investigate. 33 Halavni. Why not? Let them think we So Miller's apartment is 203. But we've got a lot of stuff on us, so let's visit Mikhail in 301 first. Hey, are you interested in clean fun? Alex, I'm in Miller's apartment. The man keeps a tight ship. What do you expect? He's a former SAS. Military life will make a neat freak out of anyone. If he's got secrets in there, Adam, they'll be well hidden. Everyone's gotta tell. I just need to know more about him to understand his. Granted. Emails from friends and family. Miller seems to be going through some personal issues at the moment. There's a chat log here of him arguing with someone called Neil about his daughter, who seems to be unwell, and he's not sure about getting her the augmentation surgery that could save her. Alex, just hacked Miller's computer. There's some heavy stuff going on in his personal life, but nothing incriminating. Keep looking. We may not get another chance at this. It's a petition for divorce. Not only is his daughter suffering, but Miller's husband, Neil, has ended their marriage. Incidentally, I think outing Miller here has done quite well, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, when it comes to any form of sexuality in fiction, it's tough to include that sort of information without it feeling forced or perfunctory. Here, it's slotted into gameplay naturally, and tastefully. We don't come across a drawer full of lube and butt plugs, we find the pieces of a once happy life and draw our own conclusions. It also adds a new dimension to Miller, without him even being present. Up until this point, he's been nothing but a no-nonsense, all-business boss man. Huh, well that was easy to find. Miller seems to be getting a contact of his to do some investigating on the down low into the Versalife break-ins that were pinned on Ark. At one moment there's no evidence of it, and then suddenly there is. But his contact echoes what Miller said in Alex's recording, that Ark isn't known to operate in the US. Is Miller trying to expose the truth to all this? 
I think I got something, Alex. Miller's NSN access card. He must have left it behind when he logged into his second computer. His second computer? Anything incriminating on it? He's going around the system, using personal connections to look into things. But that can mean anything. We need to hear more of that NSN conversation. Shit, man, that's risky. But we may have to. Why? You find something on VersaLife? It ain't good. Meet me in the small courtyard near TF-29. I'll explain. Looks like there's a multi-tool in there. We can make ourselves a multi-tool right now and not lose out. A message from the Palisades Bank. They've closed Miller's account, and he is to empty the contents of his safe ASAP. They've included the combination in the message, which is more than a little negligent. We'll have to check that out at some point. Thanks for being quick. Didn't want to be seen hanging around by myself for too long in case you got held up. I can be a gentleman, sometimes. You said you got something on VersaLife. Yeah. A couple of months back, a research assistant was found dead in the Rokaseka Beach facility. Special Projects Division. She was poisoned, just like Rucker. She? You got her name? Anik Norstad. Why? You know somebody there? Doesn't matter. Forget it. I can't stand Versa Life, Adam. Back when I was flying for Bell Tower in Panama, I stumbled into deep shit with them. They're the reason I've got a target on my back. They told my bosses to kill me. If they're involved in this, we'll get them. We just need to know what this is. Rooker's evidence isn't going to help if it just sits in Adam's coat pocket. Rooker gave me this before he died. Said it could prove Ark is being set up. The email on it reads like activation orders to me. Where'd he get it? Whose is it? I've got a suspect in mind, but nothing to prove it. Until I do. Can you get Janus or one of your juggernaut friends to backtrace the IP address? Yeah, man, no problem. Listen, about VersaLife. The information we found on Nordstadt was buried. Deep. No police report, no autopsy. Just a footnote on an insurance claim, calling it an industrial accident. She was working with dangerous pathogens, wasn't she? Supposedly. Janus thinks there's more to it. He's the one who found the report. Said it was... off. Off how? Lots of blank spaces and missing details. Didn't really go into it. And you didn't think to ask, did you? Are you saying I fucked up? With all these conspiracies going on, how can Alex remain so trustful of this Janus? I'm saying Janus thinks a lot of things. And somehow always manages to find the answer when nobody else can. You don't find that odd? I find it reassuring. The Collective has people everywhere gathering all kinds of intel. But Janus is what holds us together, helps us make sense of it. He picks the signal out of the static. And yet you've never met him. <laughs> nobody meets Janus. Nobody even knows where he is, who he is, hell even what he is. You get used to it after a while. For me, the key thing is what he finds. Norstat was poisoned, Adam, just like Rucker. Are we looking at some kind of bioweapon here? Miller's access card might help us find out. How? I don't follow you. NSN exchanges are stored in the system's cloud memory. If I log in as Miller using his access card, I might be able to play back more of that conversation he had with the bosses. Shit, Adam, this isn't like planting a bug. You have to actually use the chair for a while. If anyone catches you, it's a risk I'm willing to take. Your call. But I want to be plugged in and listening the whole time you're in there. Just be careful, man. Call me when you've accessed the machine. <laughs> 